This is amazing. Now we have access to Mistral API client. Using that, you should be able to interact with the Mistral model without installing anything on your computer. We can integrate Mistral API in our application. We can even create a user interface like this, which talks to Mistral large language model using its own official API. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about the official Mistral API. We are going to integrate that with our application. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. The first step is to log into their Mistral AI platform, which should look like this. Then you can add your billings and update billing information. Next, you can generate your API keys from here. This is required to run our application. Now we're going to write the code. In your terminal, conda create hyphen and mistral, python equals 3.11 and click enter. Next, conda activate mistral and then click enter. Then pip install mistral AI and click enter. This is the required mistral AI package. Next, we're going to install Gradio to set up our user interface and click enter. Now create a file called app.py and open it. Inside that file from mistral ai.client, import mistral client. Next, from Mistral AI models chat completion, import chat message. Next, import OS. This is to import the API key, Mistral API key. In your terminal, make sure you export your Mistral API key like this and then click enter. That will be used here. Next, we are going to define the model name. We are going to use Mistral small. This is Mistral, which was just recently released, the mixture of experts. If you use Mistral tiny, then you can use the Mistral 7 billion parameter model. Next, defining the client, Mistral client, and passing the API key. Next, adding the messages. In the message, we are going to ask, give me a meal plan for today. So this will be sent to Mistral large language model using its own API and generate the response. Next, chat response, client.chat. We are passing the model and then messages. And finally, we are printing the response. That's it, only few lines of code. So first we imported Mistral client and chat message. Then we initiate the Mistral client and pass the API key. Then we created what question to ask the model to generate a meal plan for today and pass the model name and messages to client.chat. That's it, then printing out the response. Now we're gonna run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and click enter. And we got the answer here. Here is the balanced and healthy meal plan for today. Breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, and dessert. This is amazing. Now we integrated Mistral AI API in your Python application. I'm going to show you how we can stream this response. So to stream, for chunk in client.chat stream, we are using this chat stream function to be able to stream and loop through the response. Now we are going to see how the streaming works. Going back to the terminal, Python app.py and click enter. Now you can see the output is getting streamed slowly and it prints out the results. That's it. Now we are going to convert this into a user interface so that you can interact with the UI rather than the code and able to ask questions to Mistral AI using API. To do that, I'm going to modify this code a little bit. Going to import Gradio as GR. Next, going to create a function called chat with Mistral and tab all these things. Finally, return the chat response choices. Here, I'm going to add the user input in the content area, so it's dynamic. Next, I'm going to add the interface, iface equals gr interface. There, I'm going to pass the function. We are going to have one input, which is a text box. The output is a markdown box and the general title and examples. And finally, I'm going to add iface.launch. That's it. I just moved all the code inside the chat with Mistral function. Then in the gr.interface, I added the function name inputs and outputs. Now we are going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and click enter. We got the URL here. I'm going to navigate to that URL. Here's the URL. I'm going to ask, give me a meal plan for today and click submit. Now it's loading and here is the response. A meal plan, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. That's it. You have created a user interface using Mistral API. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos in regards to Mistral API, embeddings, RAG, including that in Langchain. So stay tuned. 
I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.